Hey guys, just a uh, quick video here. I was just excited. I wanted to show people the this kit. And uh, I got a bunch of new supplies and there's more coming in, I think, tomorrow. So uh, we have a lot, a lot of filming to do. But I really was taken by this kit. I'm a big, uh, a big heavy metal guy. Love my metal. Uh, hard rock, AOR, uh, progressive metal. I, I, I'm a big heavy metal guy. As much as I love this stuff, I love music just as much. And um, when I saw this kit, I was, I was kind of blown away. And I want to show you guys. Um, this is Motorhead bomber this is their album I, you can see the album on the cover that's the cover of the album the original and um it came out in 1979 and um a little background uh lemmy the lead singer he uh he collected world war ii memorabilia he was a big uh, history buff particularly world war ii and uh, when he had the idea for the album bomber he um uh, he hired this famous artist i gotta get his name right you know it's on the box yeah, Adrian Chasterman, and uh, he was famous uh, in Europe, and he, he liked this artist, and uh, he says, I want you to draw uh, a bomber for us for our cover, and he says, it has to be German, so um, right away, um, he knew he was going to make it the Hinkle, <clears throat> the HE uh, 1111, H6, um, with the gunners, the bombers, um, uh, he knew it was perfect for them because I'm thinking because of the cover, he could have showed each guy. So uh, he, he drew in uh, Lemmy, Fast Eddie Clark, the guitarist, and uh, Filthy Phil, the drummers, right here in the gunner's position. And um, that was it. And the album, it, it was one of their first big chart toppers. Um, I think it made it to number 12 in Europe. It sold really well for them. And. Uh, the, the cover is just so iconic and here it is 40 year this is the 40th anniversary this came out last year but i haven't been able to find one and uh, airfix a british company um produced a, a kit of the plane with the motorhead markings on it i'll show you the decals in a second uh that's a 172nd kit they probably already you know obviously they produced the kit before but now they added in the full markings um for motorhead and uh it's gonna look great the plane's black i believe it's it's a matte black overall so it won't be the most difficult thing in the world <clears throat> you know without uh without going nuts here on an unboxing i really just wanted to show you the kit you know um when i go to build it uh, i'm probably going to airbrush it on camera so uh, we'll do the unboxing then i just wanted to show you the kit and i really wanted to show you the decals Look at this. This is the underwing. And here's their logo. The demon logo for the tail. You know, the full markings in the bullet holes to make the exact copy of the motorhead plane. And uh, let's see if I show Yep, and then this is where all the markings are. And it's mostly black, so it's not going to be the most difficult thing in the world. But I, 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 I was, I, you know, being a metal fan, I was just so uh, thrilled when I saw this. There's not many, not many things like this. I mean, there's a few trucks, you know, with ACDC or Iron Maiden. I think there's an Iron Maiden plane, but there's no really connection, other than their video, you know, Two Minutes to Midnight. Um, but this, this was a direct copy of their cover, which was really, which really was thrilling to me. And uh, I hope it's a good kit. Uh, we'll find out. It's kind of detailed for what it is. It's a good size, 172nd. I, I prefer 148th, which is a much larger scale, but. They're much more expensive to produce, and thus even the decals then would be expensive to produce. Looks like they recommend humble paints on the side, which I just got some in. Um, but that's the kit. Uh, I recommend this kit. I got it from Mega Hobby, and um, if anybody wants, I'll put the link uh, in the description below. And that's all. Um, I got some paints that just came in. I think I got more coming in, I think, tomorrow. But check this out. I got some Metalizer Aluminum from AK in the can here's a couple of their primers we're going to try this is silver leaf from tamiya we're going to test all the silvers and check this out metalizers from humbrel and you can tell the lids are actually unique because humbrel paints usually look like this i don't want to hit the camera here see it just says gloss orange that's what that is but you can tell these have a shiny foil indicating and it even says met for metalizer so I grabbed, there wasn't many in stock, and they don't have many to choose from. I grabbed what they have, 
and these are really cheap. Well, these are $1.90, I think. These are dirt cheap. So we're going to be testing these. More metalizers to go. And I have this silver, this chrome silver, but I'm not quite sure it belongs in the same field. Whereas this is a, a shine chrome silver. You can tell by the packaging that they're letting you know that this is a, a different thing altogether. So those just came in. And the rest of, I don't want to block the camera, the rest of the all clad candies are in. Candy uh, lemon yellow, candy orange, candy golden yellow. Hard to see if you can see the colors through the light. So I'm going to have to put those through to the test. Brand new Stano Res uh, um, primers from Badger. This um, black gloss. And all the black gloss I'm using for all these metalizers. Now I got another brand of black gloss primer to test on. There's a lot in here for the cheap money too. So this is going to be another test. Maybe we'll put this down with the humble over it. You know, I believe these are enamels. So, uh, yep, can't miss that enamel. So uh, we'll put both of these to the test together is what we will do. And then I got uh, chrome. I want to test the chrome here from uh, Vallejo. And this is special. <laughs> this will, uh, We'll be testing this weekend. You'll, uh, you'll find out more about this. Um, that better work. It's a special test coming up for that chrome. And that's all. I got a panel lining uh, shootout coming up. And then we're going to do this MRP paint test. Of the rest of it's lost in the mail, so we're waiting to get the rest of the MRP paints. And this is a new super gloss from them. And that's all. But anyway, mostly I wanted to show you about, tell you about was this Motorhead Bomber aircraft, this Henkel. And uh, I love this thing. Uh, I, I love metal. So any model that's even a connection to heavy metal is great. I'm not the biggest Motorhead fan in the world, but I respect any anybody in the metal uh, field. So... Uh, I'm thrilled about this kit. And this came in too. Speaking of all clad before I let you go. Look at this. It's their polishing cloths. It comes with a sponge and all kinds of... All the way up. Look at this. 12,000 grit. So uh, they, they recommend it for buffing out their metals. So maybe we're going to put this to the test too. And see if we can get a real good mirror shine on some of their metals. And uh, So that's another thing that just came in. Alright guys. That is all. Um, I'll probably see you in a couple days. I want to test that uh, special chrome back there, and I'll, I'll tell you more about it when the video premieres. And um, that should only be in a couple days. All right, guys, enjoy your day. And uh, if you like this kit, grab it. It was hard to find, but I think they're out there now. And um, we will talk to you soon.